Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world of Wayne and let me take this opportunity to first say Merry Christmas. I mean today is the 7th of December 2015, uh, that's why I've put a new introduction on the uh, channel here just uh, for this month. And uh, what a better way to uh, go into the Christmas period to start a PC build and I'm really excited about this because this little beast came yesterday. This is the Cooler Master Master Case 5 Pro. Uh, this cost me £110. And I am over the moon with it. It's exactly what I want to do water cooling. Um, this uh, actual unit, just so you know, is a lot bigger than you'd think it is. Uh, I've got the iPhone here. I mean, just from the base, looking at one, two, three, four, four and a half sizes of an iPhone. And if I turn this camera around slightly, this uh, PC here, this little beast here is just a normal, oh, that's just a, uh, the cover of this one. Let's get that on the floor there. This is a normal PC that you just buy uh, retail in the shop or something like that. Get rid of that sellotape. And my Gryffindor coffee, I need my coffee. Uh, yeah, this is a normal case. Uh, this is the Master Case 5. So there's a comparison with um, difference in sizes there straight away. But uh, anyway, let's get back to my PC build. First off, when you buy this... Uh, Master Case 5 Pro, it already comes with uh, a 140mm fan in the back there and two 140mm fans in the front. When it comes to water cooling these, the only fan I'm going to be keeping is this little bad boy here. Because I want to put radiators in both of these, uh, the space to have a full size radiator is a little bit, little bit tight. So uh, on the side here I'm going to have a 360mm uh, fan at the front with some 100, three 120mm fans. And at the top I'm going to have a 240mm um, uh, radiator with uh, some fans in there. And I'll go into a little bit of that afterwards. When I first build this PC though, I'm not going to be um, water cooling it, believe it or not. I just want to get the PC up and running first and then we'll do the water cooling afterwards. I already know exactly what I'm going to do with the water cooling. But uh, I want to be confident enough that uh, the PC is stable and uh, it's a good build before I go into that territory. The reason for that, yes, this is my first PC build. Um, I know pretty much what to do. I've been working for computers for years, but uh, it's the first time I've actually ever done it for myself. So it's going to be interesting. Um, why did I pick this case? Uh, the main reason was because I could take all of these drive plates out here and here and the CD drive plates here. I just wanted an empty basic case. I mean, even these SD, SSD drive uh, chassis here, um, caddies here, they're going to be going on the back. All I want in here is a motherboard, the uh, processor, a reservoir, a power supply, and loads of tubes with lights and colours and all of that going all over the place. Probably use the bottom just for a bit of um, uh, cable tidy as well. I'm very minimalistic. I like the minimal look, but I'm a real big sucker for lights. I love lights and I love flowing water, so that's what I want getting into that system. So uh, excited with that. So, what motherboard am I going to be putting in here? Well, the motherboard of choice is the Gigabyte X99 SLI. And as you can see from the picture, the first problem I'm going to have is that for a green machine, it's got yellow detailing. <laughs> Great. So, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to obviously swap that out with an EK uh, motherboard block and get rid of those two um, callers for the motherboard chipset so uh, I can stick with the green theme. I'm not going to go over the top green. In fact, the only things that are going to be green on this machine will be the uh, uh, the CPU block. I found the green one of those. The fans, the 120mm fans, three at the front, two at the top, are going to be have green LED lights in them. And the tubing is going to be clear with a green fluid flowing through it. I was going to be going for green tubing with clear fluid uh, flowing through it. But it makes the clear reservoir look a bit boring. So I wanted something where you can actually see the water flow through. So that's what's going on there. That's the motherboard. The processor of choice is the Intel i7-5820K. Um, that's £309. Quite expensive, but it is a good processor for what I wanted to do. I was going to get the 5930K, but I'm not planning on running four or three graphics cards. To be honest with you, to start off with, I'm just running the one. Then I might go SLI afterwards, but... Uh, we will see. Um, okay, the next thing is the RAM. I've gone for the um, uh, uh, the the Vengeance, the Corsair 32 gig Vengeance DDR4 RAM. That's four sticks of eight gigabytes. The reason I've chose them is because they're not color coded at all. They're pretty much black. Uh, they are quite bulky, nice design, and uh, I don't want to swamp this PC with greenery, if you like. So uh, that's the RAM I've gone with. 
The power supply that's going in here will be the Corsair uh, HX1000i, as you can see here, fully modular, which is going to aid with the uh, wire tidy. I, I hate wires, uh, and I know these are coming out here. These are going to eventually be plugged into the motherboard. I want to see as little wires as possible when I do this, and I am such a stickler with wire tidy, not just for PCs, but for my home entertainment system as well. I've got everything running around the house in trunking and everything. I just don't like wires. Um, what else? Uh, the, because I'm not water cooling this straight away, I am going to be using just a, a standard CPU, uh, uh, just as air cooled block. Uh, I'm going to be using the uh, Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo CPU cooler for that. Uh, it's only £25, but it's going to do the job when I get the machine up and running. Then we'll start swapping it out for the water block, uh, water block stuff. That is the basic of how this PC is going to be looking. Forward from that, the uh, water cooling, I'm, I'm going to have a reservoir somewhere down here. Um, I'm only going to have one graphics card at the moment. Not sure what graphics card at the moment. I am looking at the 980 Ti. Uh, at the moment, I'm just running on a uh, Radeon X7, I think, something like that. So that's uh, that's going to be um, going in here. But the, the CPU is going to be called from the one reservoir. So we're going to have it going out of the uh, reservoir, either into the graphics card, then into the CPU. Uh, filtering through two radiators. Overkill, I know. Overkill on the uh, calling for having two radiators, but I'm looking at expandability. I need to be able to be at, add the extra heat into the machine and not have to worry about fiddling around with radiators again. So that's what's going to happen. Um, I'm looking to get the first part of this PC done probably before, I don't know, February. Because unlike uh, what I first planned for myself, uh, I planned a real high-end spec machine, uh, something that could be on par with uh, Jay's Two Cents Skunk Works or uh, the Arctic Panther by uh, Paul's Hardware. Trouble with that is I realised I don't have much money. <laughs> so I'm doing something like a, I wouldn't say budget PC uh, gaming build water call, but um, something a little bit heading towards the mid-range, I'll say. Um, but we'll see how it goes. I'm looking really forward to doing this. So to be honest with you, I'm dying to get cracking on it now but uh, we'll see what happens so uh, hopefully you'll follow this uh, follow my channel and uh, you can see how this um, build goes and hopefully by this time next year I've got a lovely working what are called machine take care